All right, we have Archie here. Oh, getting in a little quick session before he goes home. So gentle. 
so he's not avoiding them. Running to the door, barking, Amazon, dropping off the package, as they do regularly in most American households. My self included. You would let him do that. You would come by the place bed, and I'm going to get him to chase out his tree. Okay, nope, this one. And it would look like this Archie, here? Good boy! Yes! Good. Stay. So I'm recalling him from whatever is distracting him or if you have company and he's jumping on them, which personally, I would be okay. But, don't take my advice. That's, that's incorrect. But, so, and then you can have people around. Um, at first, it's not going to be very long. It depends on the distractions. You're going to be you're actively training. Yes. Stay. So intermittently, no, no. So I'm just going to give him a little poke. He's not on the leash. Archie, place. Good. Intermittently treating him. Yes. Stay. The act of training like this will be a while, and then you can increase distractions like throwing trees or having somebody come over or throwing a toy, and if he breaks, no penalty, and then place the stay. And then eventually it's going to start, it's going to be, start becoming a behavior where this is just where he likes to go to settle down. Yes. And when he gets to that point, stay, you can passively train him. So you, he's all in place, you're cooking dinner, you're not really watching it, but you can see him. And then every now and again, you're just rewarding him, but he's just going there to settle. And that just becomes a, a behavior. My um, Al does that whenever she is, doesn't know what to do with herself. Or, uh-uh, no, no. Place, stay. She will just put it, go on place. Because that's where she feels comfortable. She's had a lot of positive reinforcement there. And she usually passes out. Okay. 
careful about staying on place. If you ever get stuck, you can always walk around or, you know, keep the leash on so you can kind of tug it and encourage it to come off. And then if that is happening, I would work on just placing it. Place it. So if you can really understand what that means. And we're doing forward conditioning, so I say, come here, place, I'll say F-R-E-E, -E, and then I'm waiting one or two seconds before I move, because I don't want to do this, say F-R-E-E -E at the same time, because then it's the movement needs to be part of it. You want to just say it. Free. Free. 